In a year like no other, rail has faced new and unprecedented challenges. Passenger numbers fell sharply because of the pandemic, and changes in people's lifestyle and behavior affected the railway in many ways, from the use of level crossings to interactions with staff. However, controls to prevent the spread of the virus were swiftly put into place. This meant key workers and essential goods could keep moving throughout the pandemic. But tragically, we also saw the first fatal train accident in over 13 years, with the derailment at Carmont. Three further workforce fatalities occurred in separate incidents through the year, accidents that should never have happened. RSSB's annual health and safety report is key to shaping safety activity on Britain's railways. It's a vital snapshot of how well the health and safety of passengers, workers and the public is managed and what the industry is doing to improve health and safety. The report goes into depth for each priority risk area outlined in the industry's health and safety strategy, leading health and safety on Britain's railway. It highlights the growing activity to improve health and well-being, a priority that COVID-19 has brought into even sharper focus. The report is used to assess the progress made against the industry's strategy and to review and update it. It ensures that the industry's collective effort is focused on the right challenges. Some of the specific areas of focus include workforce safety and how improvements are being made to reduce track worker risk. Earthworks and infrastructure management, how the industry is learning the lessons from Carmont and managing the risk of extreme weather due to climate change to work together for a safer future and what we're doing to manage work-related violence and trauma after low-level assault and abuse in stations increased relative to passenger journeys during the pandemic. It reflects on the challenges and opportunities we'll face in the new normal and as the industry responds to the government's Great British Railways white paper. The report explains how the industry, working together with support from RSSB, is targeting the right interventions to address the challenges facing the industry, such as signals passed at danger and train speeding. The power of organisational collaboration has helped Great British Rail meet the challenges of the last year, and only through working together can we build a better, safer railway. <laughs>